Hey guys, I'm Brugly. Do you remember that level called You Cheated that I went over a couple weeks ago? Well, today, I'm gonna be going over Backroom's level You Win, which is exactly the opposite. And this is the place that you go to if you beat and escape the Backrooms, or is it? So if that sounds cool or interesting, then I think you're gonna enjoy the video without any more blabbering. Let's get into it, shall we? So Backroom's level you win is classified as a class habitable difficulty and is safe and devoid of any entities, harmful entities that is. And that is pretty much the opposite of level you cheated that I went over a few weeks back. Which blew up by the way, so thank you for that. This level is actually pretty weird because of how it looks and behaves and some other things, but overall it's safe. The entire level takes place in a building that has 11 stories. The building is apparently out in the middle of nowhere, in a field, because you can look out the windows and just see a big empty field. When you actually get to the level, you'll start in an office lounge type place. Now this is the 11th floor, or the highest floor of the building. When you finally realize where you are, you'll immediately lose all your stress, and you'll feel relieved instantly. It's kind of like your body knows that you won the game of the backrooms. The rest of this 11th story is pretty normal for an office building. It's pretty liminal and pretty empty looking, but it gets a little weirder the further you go down to the stories below you. And in these levels that are below you, there's almond water randomly placed on tables and that kind of thing, and there's also facelings wandering around, but each level is different. For instance, the 10th floor is some kind of supermarket that's similar to a Walmart or a Safeway Vons or that kind of thing from real life. And there are facelings actually shopping around for things and working the cash registers here. And on the shelves, there is literal merchandise to buy. Like there's fresh food and fruits and vegetables and even seafood you can buy. And of course, none of that makes any sense because why would there be a fully functioning supermarket in the back rooms? But who cares? You just won. Now the ninth floor is full of weird looking restaurants also run by facelings. And these places are just named basic things like food, you know? They're also very liminal looking and they're mostly empty unless you run into another wanderer there or the facelings that work in the store. Now the eighth floor has a ton of bedroom type places in it. The bedrooms are small and plain looking, kind of like just ones you'd see in a house, like a spare bedroom. And there's also a balcony at the end of this floor that juts out from the building. If you jump off this balcony for some reason, then you'll just no clip back up into the bedroom floor or the eighth floor that you were on. Or it's thought that sometimes you can no clip into your bed in reality. Like you could just jump off the balcony and you'll end up back home. That's not confirmed or anything, but it's strongly thought that that's how it works since the balcony is only on the floor with beds. So it would make sense if you jumped off the bed floor and ended up in reality in your own bed, wouldn't it? Now the seventh floor is kind of like an old computer lab. The computers here are pretty normal. There's old and new ones, and it looks like a big school computer lab kind of. The computers can be turned on and off, but you can't break them. Even if you smash the screen, it'll just repair itself. There's also internet here that you can connect to apparently. The sixth floor is a really dark room with chairs where people just go to relax and chill after, you know, being in the back rooms for days or years. The floor is completely empty. There are a few random pillars holding the ceiling up, but there are just random seats around as well. The fifth floor is kind of like a dining area where there's tables and it kind of looks like a cafeteria here. And there can sometimes be entities as well. There's big long tables with seating and stuff like that. And you can occasionally run into another wanderer or two here just chilling and eating food. The fourth floor is kind of like a nightclub or a dance club. Nothing crazy, just random music and colorful lights and that kind of deal. And the music played here is very strange and unknown. The third floor is kind of like a movie theater that plays real life movies that you've probably seen before. And even movies that haven't been created yet. Like somehow this place can play unreleased movies, which might mean that this level takes place in the future. What do you think? The second floor is kind of like a regular shop with supplies and that sort of thing. A little bit of food, not as much food as the 10th story supermarket, but it's just a tiny shop. 
nothing too special. And the first floor, which is probably the most special floor, is at the very bottom of this building. It kind of looks like a hotel lobby in a way, and it's a place to relax and to chill and meet other wanderers as well. It's kind of the hangout zone, if there are other people here at the time you're there. And apparently, people come here to tell stories and commemorate and just talk about the things they've experienced in their journey throughout the back rooms. It just looks like a huge liminal hotel lobby with nothing else really, just kind of empty, but there are seats there. And there is an important doorway in the middle of this hotel lobby that leads outside of the building which I'll get into in the exits portion. But now it's time for the entrance sections where you'll finally figure out how to get to this level and win the back rooms. Now, most of these entrances involve winning some kind of game in the back rooms. Like if you win the beasts game on level 4293, you have an opportunity to be sent here. Or if you win an arcade game on level 3999, the true ending level, you'll be sent here as well. It's also theorized that you can beat the Game Master at a level and have a small chance to be sent as well. So technically, you could get pretty lucky. Just by winning a game or an arcade machine, you could be sent here. To exit, you can go through the doors that I just mentioned on the first floor lobby and have a good chance of being sent to the front rooms. Or, at least it's thought. If you don't want to do that, you can jump off the balcony on the bedrooms floor to be sent to your own bedroom. Possibly, if it works like that. We don't know. And if it doesn't work, you'll just be no clipped back up to where you jumped. So yeah, this level is a random 11-story building with different enigmatic stories in it. Each story is different, and you can only get to this level by winning the back rooms. And then once you get here, well, you might be able to leave. We think. Could just be another fake exit. Who knows? That's it for the video, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's a pretty cool level, to be honest, to get sent to if you win a game or a challenge or something. It would definitely be pretty nice to be sent here, I think. And it's definitely better than level you cheated, that's for sure. Thank you for watching till the end. If you are still listening, comment, you won Brugly. That way I know you're a real one, and if you do that, I'll throw a heart at your comment. Also, check the description for links you need, like Twitter, Discord, second, third channel. You know the spiel. Toogly and Spoogly is my second thirds. I do reactions on Toogly and gaming stuff on there as well. On Spoogly, more creepy stuff, SCP, ARG, that kind of deal. You all know what I'm saying. I think there's something for everybody to like. Also, let me know down in the comments which levels that you would like to see me go over. I always check the comments for suggestions, and the likelihood is, if you do suggest something, I'll end up going for it eventually. And I'm definitely going to add it to my schedule, because I love seeing what y'all want to see, and I love making videos about it. Thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate you all, and love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!